What is up, Rack and Reel Outdoors? We're back here. We're in town right now, but we're going to be heading up to the lake. We're going to go try and catch some catfish. It's the last weekend of squirrel season. Might try to shoot a few squirrels, but mainly going to be fishing. We might go crappie fishing a few times if the boat works. But um, it probably won't, so it'll maybe be catfish video. We're going to cook them up, eat them. We're going to use a special recipe that we found out, that we found off of YouTube by a very small fishing business called uh, Flare. Flare. Oh, anyway, let's, let's say that wraps up our little intro here. Let's get right into the video. We think we just got a, caught a fish. Catfish line. Catfish. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. No way. Come on, come on, come on. Very quickly. Hold it steady. Hold the pick up the line just like that. He's not big enough to where it will snap the line. Ah. Let's go, baby. Look at the water. I know. Here, let's keep him right there. Let's keep him in the water real quick. I'm gonna go get the normal camera. You want to? Look at that. No, we don't need to. Look at that bad boy. We just caught a catfish. I know. <laughs> I did not think we would do that. All right, here. What do you think, Captain? First catfish of the day. I mean, I'm feeling good. Surprised, Perfect honestly. cooking job. Let's see if we can get it out. Here, I need to like clean this up against something. Probably. Look at this bad boy. Hey, is that is that safe to eat? Here. Oh, I don't know. I'll be right back now. He, he, they can survive in a lot Yeah. Boy, that's probably a, I don't know, pound and a half, two pounds, three pounds. It's not a bad little catfish. All right. Look at this catfish, boys. Look at this thing. Probably three pounder. Yeah, two or three probably. Should have waited. Should have waited. Well, when we get up to the house. It's a keeper, though. We'll be frying them up. That's what we'll make tomorrow. We'll fry some catfish tomorrow. I'll be damned. Cannot believe we just caught a catfish. catfish. Alright, let's rebait them. Let's go ahead and rebait them. Man. Let's go, baby. We did not think this great Scott liver and cheese catfish bait would work. Would ever work. Oh, it's real. Bait's gone. Bait's gone? Alright, so that's a good sign. That is a good sign. We're gonna go out and we're gonna film a few deer for a moment. If there are any deer in these parts of the woods. Oh, let's go. That's so awesome. First catfish. Here, grab it. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Just lay it down on the ground. First catfish of the year. Alrighty, y'all so, can see our. Uh, get to, you, wait, hey, Ken got some pretty cool stuff for his uh, for a birthday or Christmas. I'll just wait first year. What? Wait first. What were you saying? Oh yeah. Okay. So you go and wait. You go grab the scale. I'll start talking. All right. So Ken got some pretty cool stuff for his birthday. Grab the uh flay uh hand, glove. We got he got a glove, and he got a bubble knife. So I'm really excited. We're gonna have to dispatch this guy so he doesn't feel any pain. Um. So anyway, catfish can breathe for really long out of water. So we're gonna have to dispatch this guy. We're gonna make sure that um he has a clean, uh healthy end of his. You know, not going into detail about it, but um. First, let's get a weight. Get a weight on him. Quick weight. Quick weight. Turn on the old scale. All right. Ooh, yeah, yeah, see if we can get a weight. One eternity later. I'll call him three. Three pounds, eight ounces. Three right. and a half. Three and a half pounds. Three and a half. Here. Latch on me. All right. So. Three and a half. If y'all can see, make sure they can see it. All right. So Perfect. three pounds, eight ounces on this catfish. That's a nice catfish. catfish. Perfect eating size. Perfect eating size, yeah. Let me uh cut the video right here because I don't want to really go up. You know what I mean. Right here? Yeah, but angle it upwards so you get like the whole front heat. There you go, there you go, there Alrighty, every oh focus, focus. Alright, alright, everybody. So today you saw that we caught that beautiful channel cat and lake catfish. Lanier. That was a big one. Um, that was a big surprise for us. We flayed up 
still have not still have yet to catch any more catfish. We're using some catfish that we caught in like July or so, so it's a little old, but it should be. It's been frozen, frozen, so it should be all right. Um, but yeah, so We're cooking. That's our fillet from. That's our fillet from earlier. And we got like five fillets in here. We need to get cleaned up a little bit, but so we're gonna clean. Should be yummy. Yeah, so we're gonna clean them up. Uh, clean them up. Uh, fry them. Have some fish fry. We might do like some hot sauce in them. We got some beautiful zucchini, zucchini squash, butter, panko thingy mixture. But we're gonna be doing the same recipe we do with that blue go catch cook. Link to that video is in bio. Same right recipe. There. I think we wrote out the recipe in that one, did we? Yeah. No. Yeah. Maybe. Well, we said it a lot more detailed. So if you want to see the actual recipe, look at that video. But anyway, let's um, and it might be on the side of the screen too. Well, we might do that, but um, let's get to it. All right, so this one's pretty clean. I'll look for bones here and cut off little pieces. You get this main skin on them. It's, oh my god, it just like stuck to the ground. Okay, anyway, so what we got right here is we got some Zatarain's fish fry, just like some normal uh, fish fry. Mix it with a little bit of Tony's, just a decent little layer on top. Stir and then up. for our wash, we have a mixture of two eggs, and I know it's kind of hard, I don't want to spill any, but anyway, we have a mixture of some of two eggs and some Frank's Red Hot. So we like it a little bit spicy, that's the optional part, but just Two eggs, Zatarain's fish fry, a little bit of tonic, and that's pretty much all you need. Um, and hot sauce. And hot sauce, but I that, said that's not really. Needed. Yeah, you don't, it's not necessary. It's just for extra little zing and flavor. All right. So anyway, we got our uh, fish chunks here. We cut them into about I don't know, two inch by one inch or two inch uh, little pieces. Two inch by two inch cubes. Or and some of them are still in like longer strips, but it doesn't really matter. Just your preference. We've got our oil over here heating up. We've got about a um, quarter to a half an inch of oil, so we're not deep frying them. But just we're just frying. we're just kind of pan frying them. So what we're going to do is we're going to first go into the breading, get that because it's still a little wet from all the water. Then we're going to go into the, uh, the wash. The wash. Oh, do you have like a plate or something we can put and, these on yeah, for now? And then back into that. And then back into the um. Back into the whatever you call it breading. And stick them on a plate. Stick them on a plate and you until your oil heats up. Which, um, if you're not like us, you'll probably start your oil before. It's probably a good idea. Let your oil heat up. Get it to a decent temperature. Not really sure what temperature, but a decent temperature. Yes. All right, y'all get the gist of things. Um, we'll probably do a little time lapse of this. So uh, here we go. Just keep doing what we're doing. Alright, so as I said, for like a broader um, standpoint on what we're making and you know us going over how we made everything, you know, you know, you know what I mean. So us like going over how we made everything, go check up a bit, go check out our yeah, go check out our uh, Blue Go Catch Cook video. Link will be it should be like right here, like right there on the screen. Um, but I said we go ahead and drop them in the fry. It's not really. Yeah, we, need to, we need to give it another minute, but while we wait. Might as well go check out our merch. You can email us at reckonrealoutdoors at gmail. Thank so um, we're, we're not in stock right now, but we will post on Instagram once we get back in stock. Link will be in the description where you can go email us, or you can just DM us on Instagram. That will also be in the description, or it's just reckonrealoutdoors uh, underscore YouTube. Just comment but, on our videos and tell us about some of the what to get you. But let's go ahead and drop them in, baby. Sorry, drop them in. Look at that. Oh, that's not a good looking one. Are you going to take my eyes or I'm going to disintegrate when I cut them again?
I dropped one. Is that a good one? Yeah. What are we making? Onion rings. <laughs> oh, let me zoom out. Tell me when you're going. Come on. Look at these goddamn onion rings. Look at them. Mighty scrumptious cat. Onion rings. 2020. Ready? Yep. Hold up. That was uh. Alrighty, so as you see, we just got these ones out. Um, Golden Krispies, look at those boys. They look pretty dang good, if I have to say so. Let me go ahead and uh, I mean, look at these little nuggets. I mean, perfectly good cooked. Good test Perfectly done. Let's give them a try. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. They're crunchy. They're pretty good. I'll say that's some of the best fish I've ever had. It's, it's, it's pretty good. It's kind of tired with that bluegill, though. I mean, the bluegill was. Bluegill was pretty good. Especially on the tacos. Yeah, if we added these to the tacos, would make them even better, even though they're already insane. Dip them in a little bit of homemade remoulade there. Yeah. That old mom cooked up. Mm. We'll go ahead and put the second batch on and we'll get back right get back right with you. Or whatever. Gotcha. A little bit of remoulade makes it insane. As so you can we just see, made some more. First batch of onion rings. Mom and Reese already got to them. They ate like seven, so we only got three left to try. Anyways, they look pretty good. And the mom, from what Mom and Reese said, they're insane, so. Dip them in a little bit of remoulade. Oh, it's like, there's like no remoulade left. Mm. Oh my god. Shotsy. Oh, so good. Mm. That's really They're good. so crispy. Mm -hmm. Those might be, that might be the best onion ring I've had in a while. Are y'all watching the chicken or the fish or whatever it is? Yeah, it's, it's good. Why can't we just get any kind of filming in peace without any noise? Mm. Mm. That's a good little onion ring right there. Anyway, I'm style cooking. Got more fish frying up. Hopefully, those ones turn out as good as the last ones. She likes interviewing, interviewing, interfering into our film. Alright. Alrighty, guys, if you're seeing this, thank you so much for um, staying all the way through this video. The support y'all have been giving us is so great. Um, we want our subscriber count to go up a little bit more so we can start getting that payment. But, um, we'll it, but um, that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace out.